Martha. Mike and Martha, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so, in presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Mike and Martha, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? I do. I do. Will you love, honor, and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? I will. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and in his church? I will. I will. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I might take you, Martha, to be my wife. <coughs> I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Martha, take you, Mike, to be my husband. I promise to be you have declared your consent before the church may the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings what God has joined man must not divide amen amen Okay, now we're going to do the rest of the rings. May the Lord bless these rings, which you give to each other as a sign of your love and fidelity. Amen. 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 Martha, take this ring. It's a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father and of the Son. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Mike, take this ring of the Son of my love. Mike, take this ring of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father and of the Son. In the name of the Father and of the Son. In the name of the Son. Amen. 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 Let us pray to the Lord for Mike and Martha, who come to God's altar at the beginning of their married life, so that they may always be united in love for each other. Let us pray for the church. God's Spirit, who strengthens hearts, make us overflow with love for one another. Be our justice, teach us your path. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray for Mike and Martha who begin their married life today. May they come to know in their life together the height and depth and breadth of Christ's love and the fullness of his life. May goodness and kindness follow them all the days of their life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray for all married couples. 
May husbands and wives be true to the covenant of married love, and be clothed in a spirit of kindness, humility, and meekness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray to know the reign of God. May the rich give to those who have nothing. Let the satisfied give food to the hungry. May the poor fear not further misfortune. Lift our minds and hearts in hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray for those who have died. May the beloved fill the banquet hall and say, Behold, the one to whom we love, look to save us. Let those who taste of death live forever in your home. May they see their children's children in a joyous Jerusalem. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Father, to reveal the plan of your love, you made the union of husband and wife an image of the covenant between you and your people. In the fulfillment of this sacrament, the marriage of Christian man and woman is a sign of the marriage between Christ and his church. Father, stretch out your hand and bless Martha and Mike. Lord, grant that as a sign. Please join me in extending your hands. Lord, grant that as a sign they begin to live this sacrament that they may share with each other the, love, the gifts of your love and become one in heart and mind as witness to your presence in their marriage. Help them to create a home together and give them children to be formed by the gospel and to have a place in your family. Give your blessing to Martha, your daughter, so that she may be a good wife and mother, caring for the home, faithful in love for her husband, generous and kind. Give your blessing to, your, to Michael, your son, so that he may be a faithful husband and a good father. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, please stand. And let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Respond amen after each blessing. May the Lord Jesus, who has a, was a guest at the wedding in Cana, bless you and your families and friends. Amen. amen. May Jesus, who loved his church to the end, Always fill your hearts with his love. Amen. Amen. May he grant that as you believe in his resurrection, so you may wait for him in joy and hope. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks to God. God. May I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael Hidalgo. Yay!